This is just a simple guide to operating the TC3300-2 controller. To power up the controller, there's a power button underneath. It then displays a brief test guide R2.1.2. R is the thermocouple type, 2.1 is the software version, and version 2 at the end, which is the last digit, indicates that this is a 10 program controller. It then displays the current temperature inside the kiln, which is 12 degrees. All the menu keys are operated by these two buttons. If you press the arrow to the right, it then steps through the program to the next part. So it tells me I'm on program 1. We can step this up to program 10, or any of the programs in between, but we'll just go down to program 1 for this particular example. Press the arrow to the right again. This enables a delayed start to be programming. Pass means that the kiln just jumps this feature and goes to start instantly, but we can tell it to start in, say, 10 minutes from when the controller start button is pressed, or we could do it in several hours if we wanted it to kick, out, kick in over the weekend when we left the kiln. So if we just scroll back down to pass, we can then go to the next part that we're going to show. Press the out to the right. It's on segment one, and it's currently climbing at 150 degrees an hour. Again, this can be altered up or down to whatever we actually want it to do. And it's going to continue climbing at 150 degrees an hour to its first set point of 600 degrees. We should take it roughly four hours to get there. We can either hold 600 degrees for a period of time, say five minutes if we so wish, but on this particular example we're just going to bypass that feature and go straight to the second heating stage. So if we press the arrow to the right again, it then goes to segment two, which is 250 degrees an hour. Pressed again, it then goes to the top temperature, which is 1100 degrees C in this particular case. Press it to the right, it's currently says pass, but we're going to put a five minute soak in. So it'll now hold 1100 degrees C for five minutes. If you press the arrow to the right, it currently says end. If we wanted to put a cooling speed in, we hold the up button and we can now program it to say do, let's do 100 degrees an hour. You'll notice that the longer you hold your finger down, the quicker it scrolls, which is why I overshot. So we've now got 100 degrees an hour, and we want it to cool from 1100 at 100 degrees an hour down to 400. Press out to the right, then it says pass. Press again, it says end. To come out of this menu and go back to the main menu, you press the button with a triangle and a square. We can quickly review the program by pressing the arrow to the right, so we know it's program 1, pass, so there's no delay, segment 1, 150 degrees climbing to 600, pass, segment 2, 250 degrees now climbing to 1100 degrees C, with a 5 minute soak at 1100, it's then got a cooling ramp on segment 3 of 100 degrees an hour to 400 degrees, and then it says end. And that's it's for the simple programming guide for the TC3300-2. To get back to the main menu, press the button with a triangle and a square, and to start the firing, you just press the button with a triangle and a square again. It shows the program number it's trying to fire. You hear the security contact to click in. It shows the current temperature of the kiln, and it shows that the ramp light is then flashing that it's in the actual firing mode. And periodically, you'll still keep seeing the, the load light coming on throughout the firing. This will be quite sporadic early on, but as the kiln gets higher in temperature, this, low, this light will remain on more constantly until the actual firing completes. Once the firing has completed, it will then display end at the end of the firing, and that concludes the programming guide.